An adult who abuses a young child could be a parent, a teacher, or other important person in the child's life. That's why strategies to prevent abuse must include a range of approaches. Let's look first at building strong relationships with families. Early childhood programs that value and support parents offer a first line of defense against child maltreatment in a variety of ways. First, a healthy, open relationship provides opportunities for early childhood professionals to help parents understand child development. Parents can then form realistic expectations about their children's behavior and skill development. Also, parents who are comfortable with their children's teachers will value input and are more likely to accept referrals to services or offers of help in a crisis. We talk about um, their child in conferences, in interviews, but I think it's that, it's that early morning greeting that starts it off. It's the end of the day where uh, the staff is willing to talk about what has happened through the day. Uh, always that communication is very important, so we're not standoffish, but that we are, again, part of the family. Particularly now in this economy, so many parents are either losing their jobs or they're being cut back. And you see the stress when they first come in. To know that they have somebody to talk to and to say, I might not be able to have all the answers, but if there is somebody here to talk to and that you, your children are not the ones that you take the, the stress out on, that if we need to keep them here an hour or two longer so you could take a walk around the block, we'll do that for you. As you get to know a family, it's easier to recognize when something is wrong. This may give you the opportunity to respond to early warning signs that may lead to abuse or neglect. In a recent publication, Preventing Child Maltreatment and Promoting Well-Being, a Network for Action 2012 Resource Guide, the Federal Children's Bureau and social policy experts describe protective factors that quality early childhood programs can promote. These are conditions in families and communities that, when present, increase the health and well-being of children and families. They should be seen as necessary for all families. They provide necessary support to prevent maltreatment. They enable families to care for their children appropriately, even when they are stressed. The protective factors include safe, stable, and nurturing relationships. A child's early experience of being nurtured and developing a bond with a caring adult affects all aspects of behavior and development. When adults and children have strong, warm feelings for one another, children develop trust that their caregiving adults will provide what they need to thrive, including love, acceptance, positive guidance, and protection. Knowledge of child development. Caregiving adults who understand how children grow and develop can help children live up to their potential. Child abuse and neglect are often associated with a lack of understanding or ability to apply basic child development. Timely mentoring, coaching, advice, and practice may be more useful than information alone. Parental resilience. Resilience is the ability to handle everyday stressors and recover from occasional crises. Adults who are emotionally resilient have a positive attitude, creatively solve problems, effectively address challenges, and are less likely to direct anger and frustration at children they care for. In addition, these adults are aware of their own challenges. For example, those arising from inappropriate parenting they received as children, and accept help and or counseling when needed. Social connections. Child maltreatment is linked to social isolation and perceived lack of support. What helps is having trusted and caring family and friends who provide emotional support by offering encouragement and resources to help parents face the daily challenges of raising a family. Supportive adults in the family and the community can model effective and appropriate approaches to caring for children. Concrete supports for parents. Many factors beyond the parent-child relationship affect the family's ability to care for their children. Parents need basic resources, such as food, clothing, housing, transportation, and access to essential services that address family-specific needs, such as child care and health care, to ensure the health and well-being of their children. 
Some families may also need support connecting to social services, such as alcohol and drug treatment, domestic violence counseling, or public benefits. Social and emotional competence. Children's emerging ability to interact positively with others, self-regulate their behavior, and effectively communicate their feelings has a positive impact on their relationships with their family, other adults, and peers. Parents and caregivers grow more responsive to children's needs and less likely to feel stressed or frustrated as children learn to tell parents what they need and how parental actions make them feel, rather than acting out difficult feelings. On the other hand, children's challenging behaviors or delays in social-emotional development create extra stress for families. Parenting is more challenging when children do not or cannot respond positively to their parents' nurturing and affection. These children may be at greater risk for abuse. Identifying and working with children early to keep their development on track helps keep them safe and helps their parents facilitate their healthy development. Providing or connecting families to the concrete supports that families need is critical. These combined efforts help families cope with stress and prevent situations where maltreatment could occur.